guy. You're not Peach. Who are you guys? Road trips. Today on Road Trips, we venture east to the gold mining town of Sumter, Oregon. Vehicle for this episode, 1984 Buick Regal T-Type. And cast for this edition, myself, Todd Hilton. And joining me is Mr. Kevin Thornton. The maps are out and the camera's rolling, so now, let's hit the road. Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Road Trips. I'm Todd Hilton. And I'm Kevin Thornton. And today we're going to be taking you to uh, Eastern Oregon, to uh, a little uh, hole in the wall, <laughs> hole in the ground, hole in the ground called Sumter. Sumter, uh, Oregon. Yeah, this is uh, this is an area that was uh, uh, well known for mining back in the day. Mm -hmm. Actually, the whole area over there. Yeah. It's a mining town. Yeah, mining town. Well, you actually told me quite a bit. I didn't. Yeah, know there about was that. A, there was no dredge left in a left in the creek over there we're gonna go take a look at and uh, see if we can't find some other interesting things to look at so we're on the way <laughs> we're, we're starting our trip here in uh, John Day yep that's right a... behind us is the uh, Cam Wa Chung the Cam Wa Chung Museum commonly uh, referred to as the Connie the Chung, Chung Museum, Museum. <laughs> <laughs> today we're gonna be heading east uh, from starting here from John Day John and Day check out Sumter, maybe some of the other surrounding towns. There's a whole bunch of towns right in that well, same little, area. It's, it's a mining area. Right. It's up in the... There's like Whitney. Is it is Greenhorn? Granite, Granite, Granite yeah. Greenhorn. Um, a couple bunch of others. Them, yeah. bunch of them in that area. We're just going to go up, drive around, check it out, see what there is to see it. If we find something interesting, we'll stop. So it's... Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> so, it's more hoping, yeah. so it's more or less going to be... Okay, okay, let's go. Yeah. So... <laughs> So, um, right about now, we're uh, going to get in the car, and we're going to get going. Right on. Okay, everybody, we're on the road now. We are we're off. going through, not, not, not so, much so much there, or there, but right, right through, through here. here in John Day. Um, this will be it, the main drag here. And it is 1231, and the temperature is 42 degrees. Yes, so it's cold. Oh, yeah, Don't forget, it's not cold. get your booties on because it's cold out yeah, there. No kidding. Okay, it's not cold till the sun goes down. That's right. <laughs> so we're on our way. Um, oh, we're... yeah. Let's 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 bring up the map. Oh, there it is. Here's the map. Here we are in Todd. Hey, there Day. we are, Todd. Look right there. Up. Holy cow! Oh, and, and we should. Yeah. Okay. We're on this highway right here. One twenty-six. One twenty-six. One twenty-six. One twenty-six. We're on something here. Yeah, we're definitely on something. <laughs> yeah, we're what are we on? We are on Highway 26. 20, that's okay, I thought it was 26. Book. So anyways, uh, you saw where we were on the map there, and um, we're... Heading east, I believe. Well, yeah, we're going east on Highway 26 through the... East bound and down. <laughs> yep, east bound down, loaded up and trucking. Truckin'. We're going to do what they say can't be done. Done. Okay. So, we're going through town here, and... Uh, and uh, we're on our way to Sumpner. Sump Sumpter. Sumpter. I keep wanting to say Sumpner. Yeah, there's actually no N no, in no, it. No, it's uh, Sum Sum Sumpter. Sumpter. Sumpter, yeah. Sumpter, Oregon. Right. Uh, Sumpter. Sumpter. <laughs> Tur. Turn here. Right. And you'll notice during this program, we do not promote anything on this type of program. Nothing. Nothing at all at all <laughs> anyway we are 13 miles from prairie city that's going to be uh now are we going to actually go through prairie city or we yes we're going to go before? past prairie city into prairie city past prairie city and we're going to take another little cut, cut off and i'm not sure what that is okay okay um here we are we're As still this way towards prairie city yes as I, I've, you and I have both commented before, this this really is a, a, a beautiful piece of country over here. Oh, hey, we forgot to mention something. What's that? We forgot to mention that we are taking the maiden road trip oh, yeah. voyage yeah. in this beautiful 
1984. 84. <laughs> Buick Regal T-Type. Yes. And if you're wondering what a T-Type is, Todd's going to demonstrate that. Go ahead, Todd. Demonstrate oh, okay. what a T-Type is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Feel the turbo. Feel the turbo. <laughs> Feel the tr feel the brakes. Feel the, feel the brakes. brakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I go, I want to go like my grandfather did in his sleep. Not like Not the passengers in his car that were screaming for their lives as they went over the bridge. Right. And uh, right now we're doing a glorious uh, 55 miles an hour. In, this, in a uh, 90 mile an hour zone. Right. <laughs> and right now we're hitting uh, 97. Uh, well, well well, keep going. Put your foot into it. Well, I, I don't like doing it when I can't see what's coming. Well, there. Go. Put your foot into it. You got a long straightaway. Want to hit? We want to see at least 100 on the uh, old odometer. Odometer? Yes. Yeah. Speedometer over speedometer? there. Speedometer? Okay. Then we got 90, 93, 94, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99. Come on. Come on. There it is. 100 miles an hour, folks. 100 miles. <laughs> An hour in a Buick Regal T type car turbo. Feel the brake now. By the way, <laughs> it's amazing as you go through here, you see uh, old, you know, shacks and, and shacks. Bar. Where's Shack? Oh, there yeah. he is playing basketball right there on that hill. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is uh, because there's a lot <laughs> there's of. There's the Griswold family Christmas tree oh there. My God. <laughs> yep. Clark, what are you doing? Probably dug that out with his own hands. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Utterly freezing. What was I say? Oh yeah, the you know just old barns and stuff that you know have been here a hundred years. Yeah. And there's yeah. still a lot of them are still standing. Yeah. Standing. Standing room yes. only. Standing. It's kind of a standing thing. Yeah. Now this is actually as far east as I have ever been. So yeah. This oh is hey hey hey. Oh hey now. Hey, that's uh, hey. that's that's hey. Hey. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's shameless. Oregon Scenic Byway. By way of what? I have no idea. By well, by way of car, I guess. By way of something. Yeah. Yeah. See, like this stuff here. I mean, some of this. Well, that's made out of brick. No, that's, yeah. Or a rock or something. That, that's old. That rocks. That place rocks. You got yeah. hillside on, on the left, you got cows on the right. <clears throat> the mountains on the right, too. Oh yeah. Cow. Those are mountains. Them are mountains, Clark. No kidding. Yeah, don't get too used to them. We're taking, We're they're taking, taking them with us when we leave month, here next, next month. month. <laughs> Look at that, man. That is truly your, your old, old country style farmhouse. That yes. is sweet. Oh, yes. The guy that had that had thousands of kids. Yes. Well, they did back then. Uh huh. Well, not thousands, but they had a lot of kids to do. Depot Museum. Yeah. Wow. Well, it looks like we're approaching a mill of some type here. That would be a mill. Yeah. Of some type. probably make something there at that mill. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think it could be sawdust? No. Or bark dust? <laughs> no. 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 Uh -oh. Ah, they make lumber. Yeah. We are entering Prairie City. Welcome to Prairie City. Well, let's go to the map. There we are. There we are, downtown Prairie City. Did we get a population read out on that? Yeah. Well, hey, now that's four, that one. Four and counting three old coon dogs. Right. And three, and one of which had teeth. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know your true trailer park trash when your pumpkin on the front porch has more teeth than you do. No kidding, huh? This is kind of a neat town. Yeah, Prairie City. That's old, man. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 1902, the top Look at of that the building says. the up there. Right next to the totem pole. Okay. Wow. I Very like these old towns, though. It's the only place I know where they can get away with riding four-wheelers down the road. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Of course, they have no law here. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Their school is about the size of my house. Actually, I, I like these these old you know old towns. I think they're pretty neat. Yeah, they are. The people are a lot friendlier too, and we noticed that when we went to Shanico. Yeah, and they were they were more than more than happy to, to welcome us to town and show us you know show us around and offer us bottled water for a buck. Oh yeah, <laughs> anything to sell us some money. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Twenty uh, bucks for a buck. Yeah. Now there's a. There's a, like a Slauson cutoff we need to take or something. Yeah. Get out, cut yeah, out of the car, cut off our Slauson. Here, yeah, get Slauson. back in the car, drive to. Uh, yeah. Well, there's Logan Valley, 32 miles that way. Now, what the heck is in Logan Valley? I don't know. Some guy named Logan? Could be. Yeah. Well, we don't even know exactly what we're going to find up in. Um, no, we don't. Center. We're just driving. All uh, we know is about that deer. That dredge. Deer? See the sign that says deer. Deer. Yeah, we're just driving. We don't know what we're going to find, who we're going <laughs> to find, what we're going to play with. Or, yeah, <clears throat> we're just driving. But then again, that's the that's the basis for road trips anyway, is, is driving. But yeah. in the hopes that we find something cool to look at in the process. Yeah, we'll stop, get out, and we'll do the look and move on. <laughs> and move on, yeah. This is cool through here, man. Yeah, it's awesome. You got a little snow on the ground and, and you got And a nice hills. dry road. <laughs> yeah, nice dry road. It just makes for a fun day. Yeah, because they were, I mean, they were predicting snow in this area last night. Yeah, well, there's snow here. It's just not on It's the just road. not snowing. Right. You know? So that's, snowing that helps now. us out. Right, it does, yeah. Oh, chain up ahead. Chain up there yet. You brought your chains uh, with We you. got our chains. I hope, I really hope we don't have to use them. Me too. <laughs> Boop -a -doop -a -doo. You gotta love turbo. <laughs> what is that? Geological awesome. marker ahead. Well, now that you just blew by these people at 90 miles an hour, I, I wouldn't stop. Okay. I would just keep going. Well, it's a viewpoint. It shouldn't be that much further to uh, turn off to some, 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 it's gold country through here. Yeah? Yeah. You say it pretty much of, all of eastern Oregon? Or? Yeah, well, kind of more of this area than than, than others, but lots yeah. of gold found over here. Watch out, we got a squiggly line up here. <laughs> The Oregon Scenic Byway. Yes. By way of what you asked? By way of vehicle. Yes. <clears throat> Just amazes me, you know, different sections through here. I mean, they, they literally had to carve the hillside out to put the road through. Yeah. Yeah, they did. That had to have been a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot of fun. Oh, well, not a lot of fun. Not really fun. a lot of fun. I wonder how long ago they actually did that when, um, well, when they were building these roads. I bet it was within the last hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. They're just a bit snowed in. Holy crap. A wee bit. Mal here. Malheur National Forest. <clears throat> now, let me ask you this. Okay. Are there uh, people living in Sumter? Uh huh. There are. Okay. Yep. Sum Sumter is the town. My there fear. Is a hor historic. A horror story. A horror, st historic horror story. Historic site. One quarter mile ahead. I was gonna say. I mean, if there's people living there, then chances are that we shouldn't have a problem getting into town. I mean, as far as you know, it being just so covered in snow that you can't just drive oh. right through it. This is a Sumter Valley Railroad Historic Interpretive Site. Ooh. Which is close. Oh, it's closed? Oh, I would imagine so. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I think this is a road we want. Is it? Uh, 
big. No, Dixie lo Lookout, no. no. Okay, so that's not the road we want. That's not it. We're at the Dixie Pass, elevation 5,277 feet. As we were saying, you know, it's it's nice of the uh, of the uh, road department to you know clear the path for us. Yeah. Right? They're they're staying about a quarter mile ahead of us there. <laughs> well, like I said, I called ahead uh, DOT in order to have Sandy truck to come by and be in front of us. So As I'm sorry, we can't do that. Was, but sir, this is nowhere videos road trips. Oh, okay, we'll be right out. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they said right next to the president, we're next in line for importance. That's good, you know. <laughs> we haven't even hit our junction yet. Uh-uh. Which actually we should be approaching soon, at least according to the map. I thought we should have already been there. It would be nice if they had some signs up here. <laughs> no, no, no. When they closed the road, they put up big signs, like this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see? That's not going to work for me. Hmm, that'll work for me. Okay, folks, <clears throat> we yep. are approaching the intersection that will, uh, or the junction that will take us to uh, Sumter and Baker yeah. City. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> what, the the yeah. what the? What <laughs> the? Austin House. I would say it's right here. That must be right here. Right here. Turn here. Turn here. Yep, this is it. Now gas it and spin around sideways three times and go that way. Yeah. Journey through time. We can see the byway. Cool. 55? I don't think so. Holy cow, something. There's 28 miles away. Okay. 28 pretty freaking miles away. Now was journey through time. Oregon Scenic Byway. Is uh is Austin one of those towns? <laughs> yeah, that's where Stone Cold Steve. Oh, uh, uh, right. That's where he's from. Now there's an old house. Look Whoa, at that. sweet. I'd live there. Would you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> that had an outhouse. Every once in a while you see tracks going up the hill there. Every now and then you see somebody's name in yellow snow. Out right, there. you see that out here a lot too. Right. Wasn't that a John Denver song? Yeah. Yellow snow. <laughs> For your tomorrow, or something I like that. I wrote my name in yellow snow. <laughs> Couldn't hold it, man, I had to go. Wrote my name, and it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> it said John Denver, man, I had to go. I couldn't hold it. So I wrote my name in yellow snow. Okay. <laughs> Susanville. What the? <laughs> We're in California? No. Mm -hmm. I do believe that's dry pavement. Yeah. Cool. No, I bet it is cool. That's very cool. It's probably cold, too. <laughs> Okay. Not gonna get too crazy here, but at least try to do the speed limit. Yeah. Be nice. 90. Yeah. <laughs> Give or take 90. Wrote my name in yellow snow. Said John Denver. It was yellow. Oh. <laughs> Had to go. So I wrote in snow. <laughs> bit slick. Okay, I shouldn't sing while I'm trying to drive there. No. Never, never try to drive while you're singing, doing or something. something. I don't know. I wasn't really listening. When we were eating <laughs> chips, singing, and yeah. spinning sideways. <laughs> it's a bad combination. We 
we uh, we're still here on Highway Seven. We just went by. Or we're Tipton. on Highway Seven. Right, we're, yeah. Uh, well, we uh, we uh, just went over the top of Tipton Peak Pass. Peak was it? Pass or Peak? I thought it was Summit. <laughs> Summit. Tipton Summit, which was 5,124 feet high. And now we just entered Baker County. Yes. And uh, pretty soon we'll be dropping down this way and <laughs> right let's go to Through the map this, yeah let's go to the map there it is here's where we're at approximately yeah. our best our best guess here somewhere here not so much there or there but yeah. right here and we are heading north on seven right um on our way to sumter sumter we still have uh probably you know 20 miles to go here before we get there yeah something like that and at uh, 30 miles an hour this could take a while <laughs> who the so hell we'll, cares we're having we'll uh we'll keep green or seven miles oh uh, we'll keep you updated as we go uh yeah. as we go down this uh, tremendously steep hill <laughs> yeah hell you have it in park yeah Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that wouldn't even be funny dude uh, here we go. We're doing it. Just driving. Yeah. Got another squiggly line coming up here. On more of the squiggly line. We're and gonna, we got lots of snow. We're gonna touch the brakes here just a little bit and try to catch this corner. Well, it says 35, so you know. we'll take it to 40. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take it to 40. Well, you're always safe five miles above the speed limit, so. Right. <laughs> Not today. Not here. No. Wouldn't be good. No. At least they got they've got some pretty good gravel right through here on this corner. Yeah, they do. In Real fact, if you notice, they they made sure they graveled that corner really well. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so. God, it's gorgeous up here. Yeah. It it makes you want to like go skiing or something. <laughs> yeah, it makes you just want to stay in the car with the heater on. With the heater on. <laughs> yeah. We're three miles away from. Uh, something or 18 miles away from Granite. Oh, okay. And uh, we're on Highway something or other right now. I don't know, because we just turned off again. Right, we turned off a Highway 7 on uh, onto something. Something or other. Uh, it goes somewhere. What, well, okay. It goes we'll, up here to Sumner. Okay, well, we'll go to the map. There here we is. are. There it is, right there. See okay, it? right about there. Yeah. Just turned off, and you can see about where we're at. Yep. And three miles away. And, uh... Hopefully we'll have some interesting things to show you uh, once we get there, including the uh, the dredge. Yeah. And anything else, uh, uh, anything else in the town that's interesting to look at. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll show that to you. We will. But we're just gonna drive right now. See, if you look down through there, Todd, you can see all the piles of dirt. Yeah. Left behind. The tailings, as they're called. Yeah, tailing, tailing piles. How uh, <clears throat> how far did you say they ran that dredge? I have no clue. All I think right. it was 10 or 15 miles up through here. So long ways. Mm -hmm. Well, they dredged the entire bottom of the river through here. And is that the that's is that the Powder River or North Powder, Powder River? Powder River. Powder River. Now see all these piles of dirt out here. Yeah. Huh. Those are the tailing piles. And there's a whole lot of them. Yeah, you can come out here and you can dig through those with a pan, guy with a gold pan. Yeah. And find gold dust. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's looking like we're approaching the town. Saw, sawmill Gulch Road. Yeah, they took that dredge through here. They moved it from place to place. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's There's old. Something out there. Is some sort of water. Okay. There's the dredge right there. Whoa. We may need to stop there. <laughs> cool. Now, how do you get to it? Uh, you turn in here where it says state parks. Authorized vehicles only. Oh, man. Oh, well, just turn in there. Oh, well. No screw up, Clark. 
I seriously don't. I seriously doubt they have a, a towing service this far out. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay, we're off. Well, I guess Kev, if you want to lead the tour here. <laughs> so this actually is a park. Yeah. Bring it through here. Okay. Yeah, they've they've cleared it out for walking, so obviously they. They cleared it out for walking. Right. <laughs> I got a stupid question. Yeah. What the heck is that thing against the tree? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen thing. several of those. I don't know. Dude, check it out. What? Did you, did they got like some snow here, man. Yeah. That is they unreal. A of snow. Yeah. Visitor center. Okay. This is usually a road, it looks like. Friends of the Dredge gift store. Well, okay, let's read the sign. Okay. Beginning, began operating in 1935, closed August 1954, employing 23. Dredging was done 24 hours daily except 4th of July and Christmas. The 72 ton, 9 cubic foot buckets dumped 25 buckets minimum for average production of 28... 25 buckets a minute. Yeah. 280,000 wow. cubic yards per month. A 250 horsepower bucket line motor powered by 12... 12, oh, 12 mile. 2,300 volt electric line from a portable substation. 3,000 gallons per minute of water was supplied by something in pumps with something. <laughs> American <laughs> jigs and sluice? sluice boxes for gold recovery. Boat hole measure oh it's a boat huh yeah measures 52 feet by 120 feet stacker is 96 foot long dredge cost three hundred thousand dollars and produced four point five million dollars in gold wow that's incredible mm -hmm. You probably see a lot of those guys out here. Oh hell, we should get all the way down a minute. Right on. Oh, oh, Todd, you gotta put your leash on. Oh man, Ooh, that thing is immense. So it's a big boat. Huh. Hey, trying to keep them falling on our ass here. Yeah, <laughs> that's very important. When did they say they began operation? 1935, I believe. To 1954. Yeah. So they ran it a long time. Yeah. Almost 20 years. Okay, now we're on the boat. Now it's all locked up, of course. is left in its natural state, uh, which may be inherently dangerous for your safety. Huh. This thing came down and dredged right along from here. Oh, okay. And took it up, dumped it, and came back down to get more. This is open. I'd like to see inside that bad boy. Okay. Wow. Well, there's another walkway over there. Let's go down yeah. that side. Yeah, I wish we'd go inside. Well, it looks like we can get almost all the way around it.
Yeah, very careful through here. <laughs> You can see some of the boards have been replaced on it. Yeah. Quite a few, actually. Dang, I wish I had it open. I got a stupid question. Huh? Is this thing actually sitting in water? Yes. See huh. the water? It's froze. We're huh. in a big pond right now. Yeah? Yeah. How in the hell did they get this thing in here? They built it right here. They dug a big hole, filled it with water, and then built this. And then, uh, See, and they use these cables right here to pull it side to side, back and forth, mm. and then forward to back. And then the tailings ran out the back right there. Looks like they've covered it up. Maybe they cover it during the winter or something. Yeah. They use these here. They, they could swing that. Looks like it maybe swung back and forth. Yeah. And they just kept moving this up the bottom of the river. Made it to right here before they shut it down. Huh. Wow. How awesomely cool. Yeah, it looks like people fish down here too, Todd. <laughs> oh? People fish down here. There's a bobber over there. See the bobber? Oh, yeah. Well, sometime I'll have to come back here when it's open. Yeah, no kidding. Huh. No, I, I, I wonder what that door up there is for. <laughs> I was just going to say, man, I'd hate to be the guy that opens that door by mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah, right there's the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, mighty damned awesome. Huh. They made sure that when they when they ran this, they dredged it deep enough to that their boat would float. Yeah. Hey, whatever makes your boat float. <laughs> yeah. That obviously did. It was ran by electric. Huh. Hobby ding. I had no clue. Deep snow. <laughs> Look at this. We're standing literally in like a, a snow channel here. Yeah. <laughs> That's immense. Yep, right there's where she stopped. Somebody sat right there. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Todd. All right. Oh, no, no, don't drop your pants first. <laughs> ah, yeah, you want to hear me scream, yeah. Go ahead, do it. Oh, now you sat way down. Now that is a butt imprint if I ever saw one. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> Cold! Now if I had dropped my pants and sat down, you, you would have heard a sound. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> a sound you don't normally hear coming out of a human. <laughs> Well, that's it. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, it is. I guess that's something we save for you uh, viewers out there. 
Yep. It is a long drive, but uh, I'd love to take a look inside that thing. Yeah, no kidding. Well, how fitting. Look oh, at that. No kidding. You got a model of the dredge. I had to sit my butt down for a minute. The dredge, wasn't that a Dr. Seuss thing? Oh, that oh, was a Grinch. Look at the size of that, Todd. Turn around and look at it. Well, right through the tree there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's huge. But it sits right in the water. Yeah. Now, I wonder what caused him to stop dredging. I don't know. Probably cost. Well, since they're closed, we can at least get some information from the folks out there. Elevation, 4,424 feet. Okay, well, they take credit cards. Okay, park season, May 1st to October 31st. Okay, well, we're going to go see what else we can find here in town. And we'll be right back. Well, well not too, boss. <laughs> I don't know. Jump in the car and drive up the road and see what there is. My car needs a bath. Okay. You gotta love that. We need to get a snowmobile, man. <laughs> okay, we're here at uh, well, it's a Sumter Municipal Museum. They got cold drinks, ice, film, sundries, tackle, and ammo. And lots of snow. Okay. We're gonna take a look inside, see what they got. I can make, make my way through here. Okay. It'd probably be easier this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. What in the heck are you doing? I don't know. Well, he's trying to take the easy route. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Steve. Steve? Steve. My name's Kevin. This is Todd. Todd. Hi. <laughs> Gotta work. <laughs> so. Come on in. And, uh, got lots of snow. This is a new... Uh, museum for the city. Oh. We're, we opened in August. We're only using this part of the building right now because uh, we're in the process of remodeling. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is a one of your older buildings <laughs> I see there. It's one of the originals uh, that he estimated 1899 really? construction. Wow. Uh, a good percentage of the town was consumed by fire. Uh, oh, if you really? follow the exhibit from left to right, you'll sort of see it from its inception. Up, up into the fire, and then there's a map there. Oh, okay. that shows cool. Most of the buildings that are um, in the old historic photographs no longer exist. Oh. Because of that fire, we lost uh, 100 structures wow. in three and a half hours. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the, this property was donated to the museum uh, about two years ago, and uh, I'm the director. We are in process of renovating the building and trying to make use of the building uh, that is usable right now just to show people in town and uh, that something's happening here okay all right well, i'll be glad to show you the whole facility if you want i mean it's not it's pretty ugly behind here but you know, <laughs> we're working on it okay we had three dredges that operated in this valley from about oh, really? 1916 on uh, to 1953 is when this one shut down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> the first dredge, someone was killed. They fell into the trommel in the hopper, the top end, Whoa. and uh, <laughs> they picked him up in a bushel basket out the end of the stacker. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. It was one guy, uh, but <laughs> his name was not the name that they assigned to the spirit on this dredge. And oh, really? This guy's <laughs> name is Joe Bush. So, you know, if mm. anything went thump in the night or whatever on this machine, because it operated 24 hours a day, yeah. uh, they always blamed it on Joe Bush. So it sort of became <laughs> a spirit that maybe is there maybe isn't there because part of the machinery from this dredge was salvaged from number one. Oh really oh look at that todd this is a slush box that's a rock a rocker yeah for a slush box huh. you put your you put your stuff in here and then you shake it back and forth and when you can shake it back and forth like this mm -hmm. and it there's usually a handle mounted at the end it's made right. this is not an original one this is one that some prospector made probably in the 50s or 60s, yeah. when the price of gold started to go back up. Again. We made one that looked almost similar to that. 
Yeah. And then, then my dad went and actually bought a dredge, a four-inch dredge, and got we, a floating dredge. We had so much fun with that. You know, we <laughs> went down on Cow Creek and spent two weeks down there dredging. Come up with a nugget that big around. Right. <laughs> Time to find a nugget. That would be oh, a yeah. Lots of lots of dust, but we found. Let some... me uh, just kind of run you through real quick, and, and then you, you see you guys have some format that you usually do for your production. We just uh, then you can go ahead and do it, and I can get out of your way, it's or I can. Introduction, or can, a closing, whatever in between. You can interview me if you like, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, we like if you'll just give us a personalized tour and talk, and we'll yeah. videotape you and. Okay, well, I, yeah, I, I'm not really. Well, look at look at us. <laughs> yeah. I got a yeah, big hole in my coat. You're not on camera. Yeah. Well, I, I I've this been is, on camera is, plenty today. This, anyway, this is uh, our first, the earliest photo that we have of Sumter. Uh, let me. I know you guys need a little pause in between things. Oh, so. it's okay. You can go ahead and talk yeah, just, while I tape. Yeah. Uh, this is our earliest photograph of Sumter. It's uh, taken in 1895. Oh, wow. uh, Sumter was uh, founded shortly after the discovery of gold in 1862. Um, I always thought it was kind of interesting that it took 30 or so years from the time they discovered gold before the town actually became a real town. And unlike many boom towns where it's an overnight situation. Mm -hmm. I've been to a lot of ghost towns where uh, in one year, you know, the town goes from one person to 5,000. Uh, it took uh, almost 30 years for this town to really fully develop, and, and this was a, the primary stages, wooden structures. The street that is running north to south here is this street out in front called Mill Street. The street that's running east to west is up at the end of town. It used to be the main drag called Granite Street. Uh, Mining was the primary reason that Sumter became a town. Logging became a secondary interest and then finally ranching in the valley. Uh, the town really boomed and in 1899 the first brick buildings were beginning to be built like this building here uh, in and around Sumter and then in 1917 we had a devastating fire that no lives were lost but it completely devastated the business community of town. And uh, you can see as you travel along the exhibit here some of our historic photographs of some of the sizable buildings that were here. Is is on this picture up here? Is is that a wood street? Yes, it is. My uh, gosh! This is one of the main reasons that there. the town uh, was so devastated. Oh yeah. This is main the main street. Actually, this same street here is Granite Street. Uh, you can see now brick buildings are appearing. We were in about the same block area. Uh, you can see how the town actually grew. The fire began in the Capitol Hotel, which is a block down from here, this building here. The big problem was the streets actually caught on fire, and the hoses kept getting burned in half, so they couldn't bring the water to the fire. Uh -huh. There were a number of bricks that started in the building. It was in the cook's quarters, but they don't know whether it was a, a flu fire, uh, a lantern knocked over, smoking in bed, a uh, grease fire out on the lawn. They don't know for sure, but they know by the time they discovered the fire, the building was almost totally engulfed, and it was only three oh hours my later goodness. that it ended up looking much like oh Hiroshima. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just gone. It's gone, yes. This picture is still smoldering. Holy cow. Where, where did you get your pictures? Um, there's a collection in the Baker County Library that had been assembled over the years by several uh, self-made historians and are now donated to that library and it has become a, a major uh, public access collection. And I do the archive work for the county uh, library and, and many of the institutions. So I have access to uh, a tremendous archive of photographs of the area. Hmm. If you look at the map here, you will see it in the area lined out in red, those are the buildings that were destroyed in the fire. Holy cow! <laughs> that that it is just... made its way through there. It certainly did. We yeah. are here, and this area of town, several of the buildings, the ones that are across the street are original buildings. Uh, they've been modified considerably. Huh. Uh, there are two surviving commercial buildings in the area of the fire. One of them is my store, the photographic studio. It's a stone building. I can direct you to it a little later. You'll go out and see it uh, with the rest of the town. And then 
the big brick two-story at the end of town, the Basha Sage building, which shows up in some of our other photographs here. But it was equally as devastated, but they rebuilt it. Man, that is just... But the town was, you know, a first-class city. It had 23 or 27 saloons, depending on how sober you were when you decided to count them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We even had a glass factory that made our own bottles, and this is one of, one of the highlights of our entire collection, is this collection of seven bottles here. Hmm. They are all embossed Sumter drug bottles. Hmm. Over here is a fairly large photo that shows Granite Street, which is the, the one that was planked, the main street, looking east to the schoolhouse. If you were to stand on Granite Street today and look east, you would see no buildings here. Up on the hill, you will see what is now the bed and breakfast, which was the hospital in Sumter. So huh. the school burnt too? No, they salvaged the school in the 50s for the material. Huh. But this Capitol Hotel is where the fire began. And as you can see, when you get up wow. to that end of town, you'll see there's not much left. Well, there's a list of the, the businesses that were here. I mean, we had smelters and brickyards and jewelry stores, soda fountains. You know, we had real estate offices, cigar stores, bakeries, photo studios, Chinese laundries. It was a, it was a major city. And usually when uh, Boomtown gets to the point that brick buildings are being put in, they intend to be around forever. Uh, and a red light district. Oh, absolutely. In fact, that's <laughs> Yeah, at the very bottom. <laughs> red light district. Yeah. Uh, my, my store actually is located in the area where the cribs were. And somebody found a token uh, a few years back that kind of popped up out of the ground that said, good for one, free one. Well, we don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. We have a restored narrow gauge system from, that has original equipment uh, that operates during the summer. I don't know if you've had a chance to see anything about that, but eventually the depot that they're going to be constructing will be out behind this museum building, and the track will go up through the state park where the dredge is and loop around, so it'll be huh. a really that neat be, visitor experience. Yeah. Are they going to put in an old steam engine, too? They've or? got them. They've got they're them? already operating. Oh, they've, wow. been, they've been running for 20 years. But oh, man. They're extending the track into the, see, the state park acquired uh, real estate, about 75 acres in the center of Sumter here, where the majority of the dredging took place and the dredge itself. And they are in the process of restoring the dredge for visitor access. How um, many miles did they run the dredge? You know, I'm not sure about the miles, but it, uh, it, it, it took in 1,600 acres. And the valley was dredged on three separate occasions over the same ground each dredge being able to dig successively deeper. Uh, they never did hit bedrock, though. No, in most places they didn't. And that's the irony of the whole thing. They took about uh, $3.5 million out of this valley in dredging, uh, and, but most of it was fine, so you didn't have very many nuggets. What's down at the bottom? But the thing is, <laughs> the, all the gold that was on bedrock is still on bedrock. Because they oh. got the gold that was settling in the aluminum. There, there gravel. has got to be some huge nuggets down there. Yeah. If the, see, we could only dig 13 feet. If bedrock was beyond that point, they never got near it. And if it, if they hit bedrock, the bucket line could not break it up and get the gold that was caught in the fissures and cracks. So <sighs> everything that was there is still there, and maybe more because they churned it all up and made it settle. Holy <laughs> cow! There's got, to, there's got to be some huge nuggets down there. Well, we have several miners in town that have small plastic claims that are working the old dredge tailings, and they, some of them do fairly well. Of course, you'll never do any of tell them you anything. Do any of them hit <laughs> bedrock? Well, you don't know. Well, they're not going to tell you. But they are keep claiming it, and they keep working them, so they must be doing all right. <laughs> you know what they say, though. A miner is a guy that owns a hole in the ground, and he's a compulsive liar. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, let me show you the rest of the museum, and then, okay. then, then you'll probably want to get out and take some outdoor stuff while you still have some light. Yeah, we're going to go hit the rest of the city here and yeah. just go look around a little bit. Now, what did this building used to be? This building has served many uses over the years. It had been a tavern. They sold guns. It was a liquor store. It was a grocery store. Wow. Uh, it was both at a time. Sometimes it was a deli on one side or, or a restaurant, and other times it was a tavern on the other. And, uh, so it served many uses. Uh, it's 
last use five years ago, almost six years ago, was a, a deli and grocery. Huh. <clears throat> it was given to the city of Sumter two years ago uh, for perpetuity to serve as a museum. So it will always be, this is public property now. Uh, it'll always be a museum. It'll always be a museum. Once you get it remodeled. Yeah. So, and we're in the process of tearing out things that the roof leaves like a sieve. The donation that we got, we got uh, this building, the lot it sits on, a lot on each side of us, and in, in behind, we got a six-bedroom house that sat on two lots. <coughs> we were able to huh. sell that to give us startup capital to get started on this museum. The first thing we did was put a roof on. We're in present working on demolition from the water damage and getting a heating system installed. Have you found anything interesting below the boards? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Not yet. But you're looking, right? Oh, I'm always keeping my eyes here. <laughs> there have been you, know there, you know there's got to be a coin or two down there. <laughs> there's got to be. There's been several owners over the years, and, and everybody seemed to have found treasures, and I don't think they left me much. Mm -hmm. The one treasure that I have found here that I think that I'm really happy that we found, we found the original doors that go on the front. Uh, they're eight foot six inches tall, and oh, they're wow. just awesome. So uh, to me, that was as a having been a contractor, uh, that was wonderful to find the original doors in usable condition. They now them. this this used to be an outside wall, didn't it? Yes, this yep. is an addition that we're standing in right now. Yeah, you can Eventually, tell that. Well, yeah, because this is concrete. Yeah. I'm gonna seal this up as we go here because I, I was getting ready to do that anyway. Okay. But uh, we're gonna be. This will be the exhibits work area. This whole back addition. Huh. Uh, once we get rid of the big walking pillar, we'll have full access to the space. And, uh, look at that wire. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's not up to code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The unfortunate part is it doesn't go anywhere. Well, that's good. <laughs> did you get a shot of the front up there? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Get another shot of him locking it up. <laughs> <or not? laughs> yeah. Get a shot of his dog and his <laughs> Jeep. And... <laughs> Thank you. It was really nice meeting you, too. Head up towards the gas station. So, uh, gas station? Yeah. Gas station. Yeah, we need we're, gas. We are, we're about out. <laughs> You'll see the, the brick building here on the left. There's another survivor from the fire. Yeah. Um, the one up at the end of the street is the one I told you. It's one of the only survivors within the fire zone. Um, most of the other buildings have been reconstructed to look. Ah. Uh. Um, now, your, your place is up about where that snowmobile just went in there, right? Uh, Actually, see where it says cafe? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, right about from the cafe, there's a road that cuts in by an old barn. You'll see right on the okay. corner, old, and a, and a de defunct gas station. Hmm. And it's, it sits in two blocks. It's, it's stone. It's got a neat porch with a bunch of stuff out in front of it. So. Oh, we'll go down there and get a shot of it. Yeah. Okay. Again, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. This is the. We were hoping we could catch somebody for something. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and that's Steve's place. Okay, folks, looks like that's going to do it for this edition of Road Trips. Uh, we want to thank Mr. Stephen Rich. Stephen Rich. Uh, yep. For allowing us to go into their uh, newly opened museum there in Sumter. Mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. Oh, they're just getting started there. Yeah, and, they're, uh, they're in the process of, you know, uh, remodeling and yeah. trying to make their building that they just got useful. And, and uh, But we were very, uh, very happy to get the interview with him and, and have him show us around and... Oh, and yeah. also, he uh, he generously donated uh, the uh, videotape the video of the uh, Sumter Valley Dredge, mm -hmm. which uh, you will have seen excerpts from, yep. and which will actually be showing by itself since it is a full-length program by itself. Right, it is, um, and it's very, very interesting. Yes, um, so we've we've actually we've seen already it watched. All. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, uh, good folks up there at Sumter. I'm glad we got a chance to get into some place since the the dredge had been closed since uh, October, September, yeah, October, something like that. There. Something like that. But, was, uh, pond was all frozen. Yeah, we were knee deep in snow. And <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Thank God for the for the uh, park service that yeah. uh, dug trails out there. Out the and, snow there. Yeah, and so. so uh, uh, but if you ever get up in Sumner, you know, uh, Steve Rich has a, a photography business yes. up there. He does old-time photos. And yes. um, just stop by and we'll put his uh, address and email and all that up there on the screen for all you here before we there. go. And, and if you ever get up there, stop in and say hi to him. He's yeah. a real nice guy. Uh, um, he'll welcome you with open arms and, and show you around. Yeah. So it's a very interesting place to visit. Um, 
I don't know if I recommend going this time of year, but... No, no, no. <laughs> Wait until the warmer months of the year. <laughs> the, the drive back over the Wallowa Mountains there on Highway 26 that was, got, uh, got quite a little, treacherous. Yeah, got a little bit hairy there yeah. on the way back. Well, you know it's bad when you can't see five feet in front of you because of the snow. Right, huh? the snow that's so. falling and what's already packed on the road. And yeah. it's, yeah, it's just a Best mess. time to go would probably be summer. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's a lot to see there. Um, yes, they in got fact, we passed a little ghost Whitney, town. Whitney, yes. the town of Whitney. It's a ghost town up there. It is a an actual deserted actual ghost, ghost town. town. And, and uh, we were going to stop and shoot some video there, but uh, because it was snowing so hard, we said nope. Yeah, the so snowstorm was catching up to us, so it was best we headed out of town. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, <laughs> that's about it. That's going to do it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, for Road Trips, I'm Todd Hilton. And I'm Kevin Thornton. And we'll see you next time for the next edition of Nowhere Videos, Road Trips! <laughs>